So let's say I want to determine the coordinates of intersection of these two circles. So let's just uh, very quickly visualise what's going on here. We've got the x minus 3 squared plus y plus 8 squared, so it's got a centre of 3 minus 8 uh, with a radius of 10. OK, so just a very quick diagram of what's going on. So 3 minus 8 somewhere down here is the centre, radius of 10. So something like that, maybe. Okay, and then you've got um, this other circle, x plus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 121. So centre at minus 2, 3. So further along, a bit up, not too much more, and, and uh, radius of 11. So a little bit larger. I don't know, something like that. Okay, so we've got these two circles anyway, and they don't need to be accurate. I don't, I'm not interested in where they cross uh, the x and y axis. The point is that they intersect at two distinct points, and I want to find the coordinates of these. So, what I could do first is I could expand both of these uh, circle equations to get x squared minus 6x plus 9, plus y squared plus 16y, uh, plus 64 equals 100. Okay, um, and then writing that as x squared minus 6x plus y squared plus 16y, and let's make sure everything's right, so 9 plus 64, take away 100, is minus 27 equals 0. And let's call that equation number 1. Now, as for the second circle, let's do the same. So x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus y squared minus 6y plus 9 is equal to 121. So x squared plus 4x plus y squared minus 6y, and then we've got the 4 plus 9, take away 121, is minus 108 equals 0. And let's call that equation number 2. So what I'm going to do now is do equation 1, take away equation 2. And this will eliminate the x squareds and the y squareds for me. So the x squared take away x squared is 0. Minus 6x take away 4x is minus 10x. y squared take away y squared is 0. 16y take away minus 6y is plus 22y. Minus 27 take away minus 108. So minus 27 plus 108 is 81 equals 0. So this is actually, okay, that is the equation of the line that joins those two coordinates, okay? So that's actually quite nifty um, in order to be able to find that. However, in this current form, it's a little bit messy to use, and so what we're going to do is we are going to rearrange this to get y equals. So 22y is going to be equal to 10x minus 81. So y is going to be 10 over 22, so divide everything by 22. So um, we're going to have 5 elevenths x, and then 81 over 22. Yeah, that's not going to simplify. Okay, and that is the equation of that line. So, I can now substitute that into either of the two original circle equations, or indeed into either of those two as well, in order to solve the resulting equation. So I'm going to substitute it into uh, number 2, this second circle. So x plus 2 squared plus, now y 
is 5 elevenths x minus 81 over 22. And then we've still got that minus 3 squared equals 121. So x plus 2 squared plus 5 elevenths x. So let's simplify that. So minus 81 uh, over 22. Take away 3 is minus 147 over 22 squared equals 121. Now if we multiply these two brackets out, x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus uh, 25 over 121 x squared, then we're going to have, oh, I'm going to have to do that in my, uh, my calculator, times 147 over 22, and then double that. So minus 735 over 121 x, and then I've got 147 over 22 squared, which is 21609 over 484, which is equal to 121. So let's tidy this up. So I've got the 25 over 121 plus 1, so 146 over 121 x squared. We've got the 4x, so 4 uh, take away 735 over 121 is minus 251 over 121 x. And then I've got the 4 plus 21609 divided by 484. And then take away the 121. So minus 35019 over 484 equals 0. Now, in its current form, that's not particularly nice, um, but that's as good as I can probably get it without multiplying through by 121 and then simplifying that way. So at this point, we are with a quadratic, okay, which we can then solve. So going through the menu to solve the quadratic equation, so 146 over 121, then minus 251 over 121, and then minus 35019 over 484, and then we get x values of 8.65 to 3 sig fig, and minus 6.93. Okay, so this one, 8.65 to 3 sig fig. Let me just write them down up here so I've got better versions. Okay, right, so now I'm going to substitute them into that equation there to get the y values. So, 8.65079783 So 5 elevenths 5 elevenths times the answer uh, take away 81 over 22 gets me 0 0.250 to 3 sig fig and then this point down here will have x value of minus 6.91 to 3 sig fig. Oh, sorry, 93. So minus 6.93161 um, And I want 5 elevenths of that. Um, take away 81 over 22. So that's minus 6.83 to 3 sig fig. Okay? And that's how we can find where two circles intersect. Now, I didn't plan for this one to have nice numbers. Okay? As you can see, the numbers got really nasty. But this is how you can go about it. Okay? Um, 
you know, not all problems are going to have nice numbers. And here is an example where that is definitely the case. But it's nice to see that the algebra that we can employ um, is able to find those coordinates for us, regardless of whether we're using nice numbers or not.